Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you how you can actually use on your Xbox Series S how you can actually like uh, save your Twitch streams, okay, and how you broadcast, okay? First off, as you can see, I'm actually on the Twitch on the Xbox Series S, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to broadcast, okay? So click on broadcast. You'll get this window right here okay you'll get this window and it can be feel a little intimidating on it but right here this is where you do your title okay the title of actually like what your video wants it wants it to be called okay right there and then when you start streaming the game it'll actually show actually like right there see your game will appear there and it'll also show the language and stuff you know when you actually get into the game okay your stream resolution 720p you can put that like what you want and stuff like uh 720p or 1080 it's best to do it kind of actually if your internet can handle 1080p go for it but there's the quality doesn't really make too much actually difference so i keep it at 720p okay so with that let's start showing you what you do okay so right here see we go to start streaming Okay, and then you push your Xbox button. Okay, and then let's say we're going to the game of uh, the medium. Okay, so we click that, and right there, you'll actually have at the bottom of the screen, it'll show a um, red dot with actually like a timer. When that actually hits whatever you want, let's say you, however you long you want, you'll push your Xbox home button again, go to Twitch, okay, and then right where it says start streaming, it'll say stop broadcast, stop broad, stop streaming, okay, once that actually is done, okay, then you can go to your, I always get this mixed up, but go to here, go to your channel, see my channel, go there, and your streams, will actually show up actually like right here, okay? But there's one step, uh-uh, there's one step that'll actually happen if you have not done actually this one searching step. It'll, you'll actually, uh, it'll say no content available. What? What do you mean? I just broadcasted. What do you mean no content? Okay, so I'll show you a way around that, okay? That's why we have computer, PC, sadly. Yes, PC. Okay, so to do that, we go to source. I'm gonna to go to my computer source. I believe that's HDMI 2. Nope, it's HDMI 3. Okay, so see here, this is my dashboard of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is sorry i have to go in and out from here because i have my mouse down here i don't really use my map my thing go there go there okay so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your settings like this okay so i click on my settings i go to stream and do you see this store past broadcasts okay and like when you uh, go on that it'll show it like that okay you want to select that okay and as you can see it says automatically store broadcasts for up to 14 days 60 days for partners turbo and prime users once that's selected okay then from then on whenever you actually do a stream it'll be actually saved onto your with your Xbox Series S on your Twitch. So you'll have that content, okay? Now, let's say we want to upload this to YouTube. Yeah, okay? So what we're gonna do with that is we go down to here, okay? Go on to that, go to
I'm still getting used to this, but we can go to, let's go home. Okay, so we'll go to home. Okay, so we're actually at our home. Okay, so with that, you wanna go to home, okay? And then you'll wanna go to your channel. Go first, uh, no, sorry, first you wanna go to creator dashboard. Okay. I always get this mixed up, sorry folks. But you're gonna wanna go down to here and go to video producer. And when you go to video producer, see here's the videos, okay? That you've actually saved, okay? And then you wanna click these three dots right here, okay? And you'll see export. Okay, you click that and it'll actually say export to YouTube and stuff and you can title it, put your description, your tags, put it actually to public. You'll want to put that actually to public. It always, every single time, it always shows that uh, it's private. So you put it to public, okay, and then you'll go to start export. It'll want you to at first, the very first time, it'll want you to sign in to your Google. So you sign into your Google account, which is your YouTube channel, your YouTube thing. And then from there, you wait for a bit, okay? It won't show right away, but you wait for a bit, and it doesn't really show that it's doing. But uh, you wait for it, and it'll give you, I guess, actually an option if it's longer than 15 minutes to split the video, okay? If you split the video, then it'll actually be 15 minutes. Actually, like if it's like an hour, let's say, then actually it'll be uh, like four videos, it'll split it actually into a 15 minutes, okay? But if you want it actually like longer, let's say you want it actually like for your whole hour, okay? 60 minutes, okay? Then you'll leave that unchecked. And when you leave that unchecked, then that will uh, make it that you can, uh, it'll take longer, but it'll still load the YouTube, okay? And so from there, that's actually how you uh, download from uh not actually download, but you can stream from uh, Twitch to YouTube. So, hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. This is Jamie. Peace out.